good day to you, my joyous companions. Yes, I just ducked underneath my camera for an effective beginning transition. So yesterday, I woke up and did a little something like this. And I was extremely dizzy and the world was spinning in all the directions. It was not good. And persevering me, I decided to keep going through my day, making myself some tea, making it down the stairs, etc. Meanwhile, everything's starting to feel like it's turning slightly to the left and up and down. And it's either because I did this, or because I did this. Allow me to explain the difference by describing the anatomy of the inner ear. The first option involves sinus blockage and mucus and other disgusting fluids and blah. So actually I don't think I'm gonna go into that one cause it's yucky. The second option however is actually quite interesting. Within the inner ear is a little pouch called the utricle, which contains about a thousand tiny crystals made from calcium carbonate. Wait, what? Yes, you heard me right, cosmically befuddled E.T. Gulak. Ear crystals. I'm gonna let that sink in for a second. Ear crystals. There are crystals inside of your ears. Infinitely tiny crystals, granted. But crystals nonetheless. And sometimes when you hit your head, you can knock some of those crystals off of the sides of the utricle and then they just fall down into the bony tubes of the inner ear. So then they're just rolling around every time you move your head. Whoa. This can lead to something called benign paroxysmal positional vertigo, or BPPV. <laughs> PP. Also known as dizziness. And for all intents and purposes, this literally throws off the signals that are sent to your brain that tell you where you are in relation to gravity. I don't know why I think it's so weird, but as living organisms, we literally evolved so that we knew where we were in relation to the Earth and space and the gravity in between. And without those tiny little things inside our ears, we don't know! Now luckily those crystals can be very easily reattached by a series of head movements, but I just find it a smidge unsettling that something so tiny could be the thing standing between us and functioning properly in the world. Then again, I suppose it's always the little things. And just like balance and gravity, I suppose sanity is all relative anyway. I am the one talking to a camera. Have a good week, you guys. Lens flare. Oh, lens flare, oh, lens flare. How completely unnecessary, but how much fun it is to have you. And now I shall pretend to sneeze. Achoo. Achoo, 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 achoo.